The first exercise to flip a breech baby is to do hip circles on the birth ball, or you could also do them standing up if you don't have a birth ball. So first we're going to mobilize our pelvis. We wanna do the exercises in order because we're gonna mobilize our pelvis. We're going to loosen any tight uterine ligaments, make room for baby to flip. Then we're going to implement the move to tuck baby's chin and flip baby. We can go in both directions and you can also do figure eight motions on the ball. The second move to mobilize the pelvis is pelvic tilts or cat and cow. Getting safely down on your back, walk your heels in so you can touch your heels and we'll press up into bridge lifts. You can do 10 of these two or three times per day. Tight psoas muscles can keep baby restricted in a breech position. So to release our psoas, we're gonna do a lunge. We can tap one foot forward from a kneeling position, shift your weight forward, tuck your tailbone or pelvis under to get a stretch here. Placing your hands on your hip, put one arm up, the same arm as the leg that's back, and then tip to the side. Taking deep breaths, releasing for 30 seconds here, and then make sure to do the other side as well. For the side lying release, you're gonna to come to the very edge of a bed or a couch, your belly may be hanging over. It's helpful to have someone to hold your hips up or you can put a chair in front of you to make sure you don't fall off. Bring your top leg to a 90 degree angle and then bring it over and release it forward. And this is gonna stretch out your pelvic floor. You can hold for three minutes and don't forget to do the other side as well. For these next poses, you want to know 100% that your baby is actually breached before you do them. Also, think of these poses as options and check with your own doctor to see if they're safe in your pregnancy. However, it may be helpful to do the forward-leaning inversion three times per day. To do the inversion, come to the edge of a sofa, couch, or sturdy chair and lower yourself down to the edge of the chair, then onto a stool or bolster, right down onto the ground. You can make a triangle with your forearms, tucking your chin and doing a posterior pelvic tilt. You can take three breaths here, and then come up and take three breaths, making sure you have someone to help you and that you're getting in and out of the pose very safely. Once you're up, you can come back up to your kneeling position and take three poses here, which is just as important as the forward leaning inversion. Coming to your knees, lowering your chest down to a pillow, relaxing forward. One study showed that 61% of women who did knee chest position three times a day for a week at 36 to 37 weeks had their babies flip versus only 20% who didn't do the knee to chest position. Also, spinning baby resources says that open knee chest position may be even more effective. So for this, you're going to need a partner to help you. So we're going to take a strap, a rebozo, or a blanket and bring it to the tops of our thighs. We'll get our partner to hold it there, and then I'm going to lower back down into knee chest position. The blanket should not be putting any pressure on your belly at all. And then you walk your knees back. The open is a longer length from your knee to your chest. Then you can lower me down so my chest can touch the ground. And you can see that I'm making an A position here. The last pose to tuck your baby's chin and flip your baby is the breech tilt. So make sure you ask your healthcare provider if this is safe for you, but you can take your feet up onto a couch or a chair, and I have deflated my birth ball about half. I'm going to place my shoulders and head on a pillow underneath me, press up into bridge. Also a great idea if you have someone helping you, you can roll your ball underneath you and relax your hips down. You could also do this on an ironing board, but it's easier if you have a birth ball. And then you want to get that inverted position. So you can do this three times a day, holding for 10 to 20 minutes if you know your baby is breech. The other thing you can do is add an ice pack or a frozen bag of vegetables to the top of your belly to encourage baby to move down. 
Of course, listen to your body, and if at any point you're feeling dizzy or unwell, come right out of the pose. You also don't have to remember all this information. I'm going to link to it in a detailed PDF in the description box below. For getting out of the breech tilt, make sure you have help and you get out of it very carefully. You can push the ball aside or roll off the ironing board, carefully roll over and coming back up to a safe position. Other things you can do throughout the day are hang out on your hands and knees as often as possible. Make sure that you're sit leaning forward. You could turn around your kitchen chair and eat backwards at the table. Also spending lots of time sitting on your birth ball is helpful. You want to try to avoid a posterior pelvic tilt or sitting in a slouched position and also avoid crossing your legs. After 34 weeks, if your baby still hasn't flipped, you could try contacting a chiropractor or an osteopath certified in the Webster technique. And after 37 weeks, you can go to your provider and ask about externocephalic version where they manually flip your baby. I know having a breech baby can be stressful, and I hope that these are helpful and your baby's flip for you. These strategies do have quite a high success rate if you practice them consistently three times a day. I would love to know how many weeks you are, and if you have any experience or success, please share with our community in the description box below. Of course, I will continue to put out weekly pregnancy workouts and yoga and birth education. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And to support me, share this with another pregnant mom friend or pregnancy community that you think would enjoy it. I'm going to link to the PDF guide in the description box below, as well as many other pregnancy resources. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you in the next video.